Ah, so we just received ourselves a jag, a plain straight ghost blade from the Banshee. Uh, let's take a quick look at it. Uh, we're here, by the way. Uh, ghost blade. It's a dagger, apparently. Yeah, attack type slash thrust with a type dagger. Uh, base physical damage 110 plus 11. Critical 127. So decent-ish for a dagger, I guess. Not great. It's actually worse than the parrying dagger in that sense. Um, but yeah, parameter bonus E to strength. Pretty bad. Acquired strength parameter is 5 strength. Um, so yeah, despite having 40 strength right now, we only get a bonus of 11. Because of the horrible, shitty, awful strength scaling. Um, physical damage reduction is the same as all other daggers. Um, no auxiliary effects. Weight 0.5, super light. Pretty bad. Uh, decent, I guess, durability. Uh, weapon type dagger, attack type slash and thrust. The ghosts of New Londo clutch this wickedly sharp dagger with their bony hands and make mincemeat of the living. One of the cursed weapons which can inflict damage upon ghosts. So this, like the jagged ghost blade, can be used without any transient curses equipped in order to do damage to ghosts. Now, the uh, the reason that we're here, guys, welcome back to Let's Start with Dark Souls, I'm your host, 51st Crash, is because, screw you guys, is because now that we have beaten the Four Kings, I assume Ingward has something new to say to me. One can only hope. Magnificent. You defeated the Four Kings. Impressive, even for a bearer of the Lord Vessel. And with this... My purpose is exhausted. I have not seen the sun for a long time. Perhaps I could do with a change. Ha! And now I think he's going to remove himself to, um... What's it called? To, uh, Firelink Shrine. Mag... Impressed and I have perhaps... And it seems as though you can no longer talk to him Mag as a merchant Mag anymore, so I guess... The next time that we'll see him will just be in Firelink Shrine. Speaking of which, um, I noticed, I think that's the uh, Tin Catalyst, whatever it's called. The um, Let's see, where is it? The Tin... Yeah, the Tin Banishment Catalyst, I think, is what he's holding. Um, and a Ghost Blade in the left hand. So, yeah, it's pretty neat. Nice setup. Anyway... We are going to homeward bone out of this joint and never come back unless maybe I want to grind slabs, but I probably won't. So, to the last bonfire we rested at, which I think might actually be in the abyss. Yeah, well, oh well. What better place to look at our, uh, bequeathed lord soul, wherever the hell, oh no, that's a key item, isn't it? Yeah, bequeathed Lord Soul Shard, soul of the four kings who fell to dark. Soul of one of the four kings who fell to dark. A fragment of a Lord Soul discovered at the dawn of the Age of Fire. Lord Gwyn recognized the foresight of these four great leaders of New Londo, and granted them their ranks in the fragments of a great soul. Although this is not a full Lord Soul, it can still satiate the Lord Vessel. So yeah, that's the thing that we got for beating the dark. The, not the dark wraiths, the four kings. Anyway. We're going to warp back to Firelink Shrine, like I said we would. Duh. And, um... And, yeah. Now... Uh... Um... Let's put back on our Silver Knight Spear, wherever it is. Here we go. Silver Knight Spear plus five. Um, we can't use any of our resins, so I guess I won't bother with that. I'll put on instead uh, Green Blossoms, and I suppose I might as well put on Fire Bombs, maybe. Because a lot of things in the Catacombs, it turns out, are weak to um, fire. Or at least a little weak to fire. So, yeah. Hmm. Getting a little bit of slowdown. Yeah, see? Now Ingrid's here. Standing over here in this little corner. Oh, hello. Hello. The sunlight made me wince. But now I've come back to this dark hole. So what brings you here? 
I will help you in any way I can. He still only does the exact same things. Have your curse broken, purchase item, blah blah. He can't really do anything for you. So yeah. Oh, what? Oh, what, what was that? That was different text. Oh, hello. What is it? I will help you in any way that I can. Ah, I see. So yeah, that's that. Um, I wonder if Framp says anything now that we've. No, no. I'm he fine. has health. I'm fine. Well, I'm wide awake. I mean, you can't I'm actually hurt him, like but. An old withering snake. Weird. Very strange. So what do you say now? I am pleased. Is it something urgent? No, not really. I guess. Farewell. Yeah. Bye. Bye. So now we head down. Oh, that's the wrong way. Now we head over down to the uh, the graveyard, which we have not explored yet. Now the um the reason that I'm uh, using the uh, silver knight spear is twofold. First, auxiliary effect. So we will do extra damage to all the skeletons and stuff. Basically, everything that we find in the uh, the catacombs and even the graveyard will do extra damage to. Um, and the auxiliary effect also means that everything that we kill will stay dead. Which is not especially important uh, out here. Not especially important out here. Um, Uh, where everything stays dead anyway, but down in the catacombs where there are necromancers, it will become more important. So, yes. That is why we are doing this. I can also use a spear the way that, you know, you know, you use spears by keeping your shield up the entire time, which will be nice for enemies that I'm not entirely sure of their attack patterns and stuff. Lost, large soul of a lost undead. That's gonna get fed to Framp at some point. I don't know which path I want to take. There are a couple of paths through the graveyard in order to get all the things that you can get in here. So yeah, large soul of a lost undead. I should probably start trying to start practicing at least my reposts on these guys. It'll help. It won't really matter. They're pretty easy to kill with what with our current setup. So ah, this is a big guy. He cannot be reposted. As you might have guessed. Anyway. Winged Spear. Let's take a look. We'll be able to compare it to our current spear. Winged Spear. Attack type thrust. Weapon type spear. Physical 86 plus 38. Parameter bonuses E and C. Two strength and dexterity. 13 and 15 strength and dexterity requirements. No auxiliary effects. Um, damage reduction the same as all other spears. Not especially good. Um, durability 140. Weight 4.5. Weapon type spear, attack type thrust. A long hilted spear with a barbed point. Long reach and can be used with shield up. Effective against hard exteriors and hits for high damage at the right moment of an enemy's swing. But the hit radius is small and it is easily blocked by shields. So yeah. Uh, I need to get the hang of fight. So the strong attack is the, uh, the swing. Hold on a second, I'm actually going to go over here and just figure out my combos. So without shield up, I can just do that over and over and over again it seems. With shield up, I do that over and over again. Um. Alright, so my combo is that, and that, and that. Okay. Now my question is, how does how does it combo with the uh, with the weak attack? Not really. It doesn't combo at all. Alright. So now I know. We've killed a big guy. I'm proud of myself for doing that. Don't really know what else is down here. A lot of guys over here. I think this is a big guy. Yeah, this is a big guy. There we go. I'm gonna try parrying this guy, or is there someone else coming? No, there's someone else over there. Alright. 
Well, I parried him, but I didn't repost him. Quite. Red and white round shield. And this Vihander. Finally, we have this Vihander. Alright, let's take a look at our shield first. Red and white round shield. Red and white round shield attack type strike, blah blah, weapon type small shield. So it's not. It's not the, um. It's not a normal medium shield, it's a small shield. Um, required parameter 6 strength. Damage reduction, 85 physical, not very good. 65 magic, which is decent. 30 fire, which is pretty bad. 65 lightning, which is pretty good. Stability only 40, though, that's pretty bad. Wait, 1. Red and white, bleh, red and white round shield, weapon type small shield, attack type strike. Round wooden shield crafted in Lordran, featuring an impressive red and white design. The giant trees in Lordran are distant offspring of the great stone arch trees. This shield inherits their properties, and the wood greatly reduces magic damage. Well, okay. Um, also, duh, our Zweihander! I think I'm actually going to see if I can compare that to our uh, upgraded... I'm going to compare that to our uh, Claymore. Now then, Zweihander. Um, uh, attack type regular, weapon type ultra greatsword. Physical damage 130 base, plus 81. Parameter bonuses C and D to strength and dexterity. Required uh, parameters... 24 strength, 10 dexterity. Damage reduction is obviously the same as all other Ultra Great Swords. Um, 10 weight, no auxiliary effects. Weapon type Ultra Great Sword, attack type regular. One of the gigantic straight Great Swords. As the name suggests, the Zweihander is held with two hands, but its wielder must still be inhumanly strong. It is this great weight that sends foes flying when hit solidly. So yeah, it's pretty fun. Um, it's a pretty decent weapon. Um, where was I? Where did I come from? I came from up there. Ah, I think I know what these are. I think these are the binoculars. Yeah, binoculars. Okay. I don't know where they are. Binoculars used to peer at distant scenery. Binoculars made of brass used to peer at distant scenery. This advanced device was built by a famous craftsman of Astora. Its utility is singular, but its applications many. The value of these specs depends greatly on the imagination of their owner. With that said, they're not especially useful, though. So. Yeah. I guess that's Lower Undead Burg I'm taking a peek at. And then the mists out there, I guess. It's pretty cool. Now we're gonna de-equip all that stuff, because we don't want it in our hotbar. Bye-bye. And now I think we're going to go back up to the top of this area. Well, not quite, but we're going to go up a higher path so that we can kill everything. Alright, let's see if I can parry this guy and maybe get her a post on. No. That was pretty bad. That was pretty bad as well. Ugh. That was awful. Man. Alright. Alright, so that has a really long wind up time. And that has a much shorter wind up time. That's what's screwing me up. That is what's screwing me up. See, I keep trying to repost that thinking it's the short wind-up time, but it's not. See, again, it's just... Yeah, that's the short wind-up. Yeah, whatever. There we go. And that's only worth, like, what, 60 souls, though? Yeah. Not really worth it. Should not have done what I did because it wasn't really worth taking all the damage that I took. But it's done. It's too late. I'm gonna come over here. Come on, guys. Form up. Caduceus Round Shield, I think is what that said. Screw you, sir. No. Alright, Caduceus Round Shield. Let's take a look. Ca 
Caduceus Round Shield. It's another small shield. Attack, um, uh, six, uh, strength required parameter. I think it's the exact same, actually. Uh, yeah, essentially as uh, the red and white round shield. So I'm not gonna bother telling you anything about it. Uh, Caduceus Round Shield. Weapon type, small shield. Attack type, strike. Round wooden shield crafted in Lord Gen. Decorated by an ancient blue caduceus. The giant trees in Lordran are distant offspring of the Greatstone Arch Trees. The shield inherits their properties, and the wood greatly reduces magic damage. Yeah. So, um, basically those are two small shields that are good for magic damage, assuming you haven't already gotten something that's better. So, yeah. That's all. Now, we're finally going to head down into the catacombs proper. I probably should have... Attuned to something better than cast light, but oh well. It's dark in here. Maybe I'll need it. Weakness divine, yes. Yes, it is. Alright, so I've never been in the catacombs, and I don't know what I'm doing or where I'm going. Skulls! Not sure if that killed the skull or what. No. He's still up. There we go. Now he's gonna stay dead, despite the fact that there are necromancers around because of our divine auxiliary effect. And that is how that is supposed to work. Screw you. Now I assume you can't fall into that hole, so. Yep. Just gonna keep going. Oh. Hey ya. Yep. Just gonna stand here and keep being awesome. Now these are worth 100 souls, apparently, instead of 50 souls. This is a ladder. Climb down. Sure I will. Slide? Oh, that's the slide button. I was pressing the wrong button. Hmm. I suppose cast light would be nice to have right now. I'll do it. Uh, hi. Okay. Oh, hi. Screw you. Anything else down here? Sorry, we're going to be taking this rather slow, but I just don't know anything about this area. So, yeah, apologies for that. Oh, hi. I didn't kill both of them. All right. Glad I have such a long reach. Man, this is actually, like, pretty nice. I'm happy about this. All right, so that door's closed, so I know I have to... I think down this way is going to be a necromancer and a switch. Yeah, there's the necromancer. Screw you. Backstabbed! No, you don't want to give me your, your thing? Alright. But this is a bonfire. Not one that can be warped to, unfortunately. But it is a bonfire. I guess I'll rest at it. Can I level up? I can't. Uh, I don't know what that sound is. I'm gonna repair my stuff, I guess. I am a fully decked out Silver Knight right now, as you may have noticed. I've got my spear and I've and my shield. Now then, let's push this lever. That should open the door. Um. And now that I rested up the bonfire, the skeletons will respawn. But. You know. Ha! Ah, that is called having great range. And he gives me a scimitar, which we already have. That's our starting weapon. That's how you get more scimitars. Alright, deeper into the catacombs. The light's a little blue. We got sky. 
There's a little bit of sky around here. Oh, is he gonna shoot fire at me? Well then. Come on. Look at that. That was pretty crazy. Wasn't that cool? I enjoyed it. Did he try to shoot something at me? What happened? Yeah. Oh, but he can't hit me. Alright, I see. I get it. Well. If you feel that way, sir. If you feel that way. I suppose I will have no choice. But to great boat you in the face. Shit. There we go. A skull blew up somewhere, but I have no idea where. There's a bunch more skeletons over here, I think. That is exactly what they are. We're gonna do that crazy thing. No. Really? Okay. Yep. No idea what that move's supposed to be. Screw you. I did see that the, uh... The guy dropped a thing. Let's go up here. Is there anything to drop off onto? I know that this place is great for dropping off onto places. We can't, can't drop onto that, because that's spikes, so we won't bother. Aya! Fleeing? Very well. Man, there's guys everywhere. Yeah, don't try. Don't try too hard. It'll just get you in trouble. Ow. Yeah, I guess I'm being a little careless with these guys because they're just so easy to kill. Oh, is this my, uh, this is my guy. This is the, uh, the necromancer I killed. And he dropped us a skull lantern. Let's take a look. The skull lantern. It's really meant to be used as a shield. I'm not sure where to f where I'll find it. I guess among the shields? No? Where the hell is it? Did I skip right past it? How did I do that? Skull Lantern! Skull Lantern. Skull Lantern. There it is! Skull Lantern, attack type strike, weapon type lantern. Um, physical 30, and magic, I mean, and fire, 75. Um, I guess that's a, just a base fire damage that can't be, can't be boosted. Parameter bonus E to strength, required, um, strength is 5. That's why we only get plus 3, despite having 40 strength. Um, damage reduction is pretty awful, and yeah, wait, 0.5. Weapon type lantern, attack type strike. Skull lantern of the catacombs necromancer drops, droops from his long beard locks. This lantern alights the tomb of the giants, Nito's light devouring domain of death. Also serves as a fire damage strike weapon. So for instance, in our right hand, we would do that with it. Um, it can in fact be two-handed. But, uh, specifically in the left hand, which is what it is meant to be held in, let me re-equip my, uh, Silver Knight Spear. In the left hand, where it's to be equipped there, um, you can still strike with it, and that's the strong attack, but when you try to block with it, you light up the area. So, yeah. I guess that's a thing. We will not be using that because we have cast light, so... Yeah. Just don't think so. Speaking of which... Bye-bye. Man, I love having this great reach. It's pretty awesome. How do I get up there? I don't know. I'll figure it out, man. It is a catacombs, I guess. Be wary of lying in ambush. Very well. Hello? Hello? 
I'm actually going to go back the way I came because I'm not sure that, that that I explored everything. Or is this just a big dead end? Yeah, okay, so it is a dead end. So the way that I... They do want me to go this way. Very well. Very well. Alright, be wary of lying in an ambush. You say. Both of you at once. Ha. Ah. Now, what am I... What am I here for? The Lucerne. What is this? Lucerne. Uh, attack type thrust. Weapon type halberd. Physical base, 110, plus 60. Parameter bonuses, D&D, &D, 215 strength, and 12 dexterity. Uh, parameter requirements. Same damage reduction as other halberds, duh. Durability, 200. Weight, 5.5. No auxiliary effects. Weapon, Lucerne, weapon type halberd. Attack type thrust. Halberd with a large, hard, beak-like protrusion. Inflicts thrust damage. Instead of thrusting like a spear, the wielder of the Lucerne aims to club the head with its hard beak. Interesting. I guess if that's more to your style, then you can go with that. Hi there. Oh. What happened? Did you miss me? I'm not sure which way I'm going. That might be the way forward. Yeah, this is a dead end. Okay. So this is the way forward. And what have we here? There's my archer. There we go. Alrighty. So now we're up here. Isn't there an item that I saw? Yeah, okay, so that's... Those are the broken steps, right? They are broken, right? Yeah, I can't get back up. Alright, just wanted to make sure. Just made a little loop. Alright, let's go back around. And grab this thing. Large soul of a nameless soldier. Man, those things are old hat by now. And further on, deeper into the catacombs. Obviously, we can't go across that, so we're going to have to spin it. And that is a necromancer. So first, we're going to have to go up here past all these skulls. Be wary of right. Yep. Wow. So don't stand in front of those, then. Yeah, don't get knocked back into them, either. There we go. Alrighty. Ugh. So I guess all these statues I'm going to have to, like, roll past. Okay. There we go. I got a humanity from something. I'm not sure what. Okay. That should turn, I think, the bridge. Yeah, now the bridge is straight. But we can keep going, because there's a something back here. Of course there is. Soul of a Proud Knight, hey! We also have a lot of souls, so we can probably use those to level up once we rest at a bonfire, but we won't do that just yet. Roll past. Roll past. Ooh, what's this? That's a falcon. We already have that, though, so it doesn't matter. Ah, oh, man. Totally forgot about that. Man, that is the most annoying thing. Does the necromancer want some? I think he thinks he wants some. But he doesn't really want some. Ah. That's not cool. <sighs> That's not cool, sir.
If I can headshot you, you're dead. Ah, he has realized that he does not, in fact, want it. All right, I'm going to bun rush them. Huh, you don't want to let me backstab you, then. Fair. Whatever. Now, I do know that you can roll off of this, but onto what? I know not. Not that. I think we came from there. Yeah. We went around. I guess you roll off onto that, if you're fast enough. And then you can get back up there. Alright. We'll find our way around. I have faith. I mean, I have no faith, because I don't do faith stats. Oh, shit. Okay. Now what? <gasps> Crystal lizards! Fuck me! There we go. That's one. Twinkling Titanite and Green Titanite. Alright, we're gonna quit and reload. Until we find them again. And I think that will have to be the end of the episode. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in a second. Or not. This that was actually really, really quick. Yeah. Two white tight night chunks. Okay. So we gotta keep going, I guess. Rolling past the statues. Yes, screw you. Man, those things are annoying. Alright, here's the ladder. Climb up it. Come on. Do I, is this another fall? Is this a, another thing where you fall? I hear the waterfall. What, right here? Yeah. I, uh... Oh, I already got this. Oh, this is over here. All right, so it just pops you back out there. All right. Now I know what not to do and where not to go. I'm gonna have to run past all the statues again. Damn it. Why is everything back? Why are you guys back here? Yeah, I'm not facing that, so it, yeah, I didn't block it. you. I should probably heal. I should probably do that. Alright, so now I know that there's a hole over there. But I can't... Yeah, there's nothing in here then. It's just a hole. Specifically for you to do that. Alright, that's annoying then. I'm gonna, I'm gonna glug. I feel like that's probably a good idea, and we're gonna use our final cast light. Oh no, because we rested at a bonfire. Right, my bad. Hey, uh. Oh, unlock on. Is he guarding anything? No, he was just in here. And yeah! That's how I do. Another red and white round shield. There is something in here. Ah, oh, right. Duh. You just gotta bite the bullet, I guess. Can you, like, break these? That's. 
I don't like that. I'm not a big fan of that. Regain that stamina. All right. There we go. It's another scimitar. All right. So I just, I guess I just gotta like roll through. Soul of a proud knight and roll out. Man, that's awful. I hate that shit. At least it does no damage to me because my armor rating is pretty high. This is another door that I'm going to have to flip a switch for. E, don't fall. Like he did. And like he did. Oh! Necromancer. Really? There we go. I was about to say. Alright, I think this is as far down as you can go. Yeah, so we better go in here. And there's the switch. And there's a something that I can't get to yet. I know there are hidden walls in places here, but I don't know where. And I'm assuming that I really cannot go down beyond that. Yeah, it does not look like it. I don't see anything down there. I could drop a prism stone, but... So here's the door, and we come out, and I did something wrong. Or do I drop down onto that ledge? But then what? From where do I go from there? Down there? What? I don't think I understand. I feel like that bridge should be... Facing me, I'm gonna drop down onto here. Man, they're tricky. Alright, now I'm in here. Now what? I already did this. Oh, oh, here we are. Alright. Great scythe. Hey now, great scythe. Is that another halberd? No. It's a. Shouldn't it be at least a halberd or a spear? Can't be an axe. Yeah, there it is. Great scythe. Attack type slash weapon type halberd. Physical base 100 plus 48. Parameter bonuses E and B to strength and dexterity. Um, requirements of 14 and 14, respectively. Bleed auxiliary effect. Worst stability somehow, despite that they're both scythes. Yeah, worst stability. That's strange. Weight 5, durability 130. Great scythe, weapon type halberd, attack type slash. Weapon with a long curved blade, converted from a wheat harvesting tool. The magnificent sharp curved blade instills fear in opponents. Perhaps it is their survival instinct at work. So yeah, with that, we definitely will end the episode here. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Die with Dark Souls. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Peace.